this week we are doing something special for you. We are going to be answering one of our most asked questions from season one. So my wife and I have been cruising full time for about 18 months now. And in that time, we have always had access to internet, which is a relatively new concept within the world of cruising. So because we've always had access, uh, we've had time to trial a lot of the apps out there necessary to get the data to live your day-to-day -day cruising life. We are gonna go step-by-step -step through our cruising process and review all the best apps that we use to help our sailing go smoothly. So most cruisers have a very broad spectrum timeline to go in a general direction. And then within that timeline, we'll pick different anchorages that we want to go to and we'll wait patiently for weather windows that would take us to those anchorages. The weather window will come, we'll get up, get underway, go sailing for a while and eventually drop hook in some new sand. Once we're there, we'll be anchored, we'll go adventure on land, we'll fix up the boat, we'll rest, we'll do everything and we'll wait patiently again for the next weather window to bring us to the next unknown anchorage. So that's just the cycle that we all follow, it's fun. If you want a detailed review of how to use Starlink to cruise the world, this bonus episode is for you. I would say Sea People uh, is a slightly more modern version uh, and it does more extensive tracking and is also uh, a social like media based. So as like, you see me scrolling here, uh, it's like people posting about the adventures they have. There's pictures that you can scroll through. The tool that we use most frequently for this is PredictWin. So I'll go ahead and pull this up. Here's where you really get into uh, the nuts and bolts of what's going to happen that day. And the user interface is very nice. So we have the averages displayed, but we can also very quickly jump into each individual model. We'll use Navionics throughout the passage to come in here and look for uh, more specific data about any obstructions that we might hit. So again, this is end user added information. When our AIS is on, this app communicates with it and gives us extremely good detail about all the other AIS targets in the vicinity of our route. Join us over on Patreon, where all free members get full access to this bonus episode. Learn how the modern cruiser gets the job done.